welcome to a new vlog. No, I am not drinking wine in the early hours of the day. It is 6.41 p.m. on a Monday afternoon. <laughs> on a Monday night. <laughs> Monday afternoon, yeah, okay. I am enjoying a little Bevergino here as I'm going to a little trivia night with a couple of my friends. I was honestly getting really anxious. I still am a little bit anxious, hence why I decided to have a glass of wine while I get ready because I think it will help calm my nerves a little tiny bit. I've been finding lately whenever I try to socialize, I just get an incredible amount of anxiety. I I don't know why. I mean, I've always been anxious to some extent, but it just seems to be getting worse. That's not ideal. But we're pushing through. We are pushing through. I am about to get ready as mentioned. So I'm just going to take off the majority of my makeup. I'm going to probably keep most of this brow product on so that I don't have to like entirely redraw my brows as that can take a little bit of time. And I only have about an hour before we are going. So... I don't want to keep people waiting on me as one of my friends is picking me up to go. Why am I over explaining everything, the story of my life? So I'm going to go quickly wash my face and we will put some makeup on. Oh, it's been a long day. I worked today at my actual job. And I mean, we're not super busy at the moment. Christmas was our busy season, so that was a little overwhelming, but it's chilled out a lot. I just, to be entirely candid, I haven't had my ADHD medication for like a week now because I neglected to book a doctor's appointment at the correct time. I'm gonna turn you this way a little bit. Cool. Um, yeah, don't be like me. Do not be like me. I haven't had my medication and I still don't have it. I won't have it until tomorrow. So I had a doctor's appointment as well. It was just kind of a full day and it's a Monday. And Mondays are always just kind of blocked. I'm gonna try and do this as quickly as possible. AKA I'm gonna try to like not talk. <laughs> the biggest challenge that is like humanly possible for me to never shut the fuck up. I'm all out of the concealer I typically use, which is the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser. I keep forgetting to get more. <laughs> Literally, I can't remember anything to save my life. So I've just been using an older one that I find dries me out a little bit, which is especially not ideal for this time of year because my skin is like the Sahara Desert. Holy sweet jumping Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> like my hands especially, they're starting to get like Scales, if you will. I think it's eczema. Eczema. Not eczema. Not eczema. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. I always said eczema growing up, but I'm pretty sure that's not right. So eczema. I got eczema. eczema. I think that's what it is. Cause I had that growing up. Oh god, my skin is so dry. And I can't afford good retinol stuff that I find really helps. <laughs> I simply can't afford it. This is what I'm using currently. Revlon Stay Matte. I don't know. It was just in my drawer, so I've been using it. I might add a couple fake freckles to try and distract from how dry my skin is. It actually might just make everything look worse, but whatever. I haven't been doing fake freckles at all lately because it's like winter and... Obviously they're not real. As if they were convincing enough to look natural anyways. Looks kind of god-awful, terrible, bad, but what can you do? I don't really have time to do this over, so it's fine. Fun. I'm really not trying to go crazy with my makeup here tonight. I just, as I've mentioned before, I'm really enjoying makeup lately. I like having a reason to do something fun with my makeup, so I'm gonna do something. I don't know what yet, but something. You, I love blush. I love blush so much. My favorite. When I was a kid, there'd always be older women that would say like, Oh my god, your cheeks are just so pink. You're never gonna need to buy a blush ever in your life. Which, they're not wrong. Like, why are my ears so red? Hello? Hello? I'm a little flustered, I guess. That could be why. I do tend to turn red. <laughs> I do have very rosy cheeks. But I always like to add more blush anyways, because blush is just the best. I didn't always feel that way, but nowadays I can't imagine not using blush. I don't feel cute whatsoever until I put blush on. It changes my personality. Oh. Oh. Ah. I was watching this video recently of this. She's like an anchor, like a news reporter anchor, not like a boat anchor. <laughs> she doesn't sit at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> I may have taken a bong hit before I started doing this. <laughs> anyway, she's like a news anchor <laughs> and she was showing how she does her makeup like minutes before she goes on air because they start like four in the morning or something ridiculous. And she was just kind of like counting down. She has her hair at home and then she has her makeup at her news office. So she was in there like five minutes till we're live and like, 
putting on her fucking mascara except it, it was it was more like five minutes on her live and she was putting on concealer like she was really cutting it close and the anxiety i had watching that oh my god i could never i could absolutely never i show up late for like everything always i'm working on it okay don't come for me i know that it's disrespectful i don't mean it to be disrespectful i don't try it just happens either way i end up late for things all the time i would be late for the news every day like every single i'd be fired <laughs> I wouldn't be late every day because I would be fired before I could be late every day. Could not be me. Could not be me. Oh my god, the anxiety. Whoo. All right, I got a boogie. I got a boogie. I actually, I have to check my phone. So give me a minute. Okay, it's 7.20. She is on the way and she lives like three minutes away. So I have to go. Of course, I ran out of time, but I managed to pull this together. Hopefully I can get some footage when I am at trivia. Yes, hi. Yes, hi, Teddy. Oh, yes, I know. Hi. Hello. It is Tuesday. It is 8 p.m. I'm not long home from work. When I got back, I fed my brother's dogs as he was out on a work thing. Fed them, came in, fed my kitty cats. Immediately put on sweatpants. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> Immediately put on sweatpants. And here we are. I had such a bad day today. <laughs> Well, I mean, it wasn't all bad, but a lot of it was not great. I literally cried on my break at work today. <laughs> I made a couple stories about it actually, which is not something that I typically do. I'm always afraid that people are gonna think that I'm like, my cats are fighting. I'm afraid people are gonna think I'm like seeking attention, but it was more just like, I wanted to be real about life and emotions. And I feel like I talk about pretty much everything on my stories and I never talk about when I'm like feeling depressed. <laughs> and I wanna be open about it, but I'm just, again, afraid that people are gonna think that I'm just like trying to get sympathy or attention. And that's really not the case. It's just, I like to be open about it because I like when other people are open about it. I have found that that's really helped me over the years. I posted on my story and it was so sweet. I got so many warm messages and some people thanked me for being so open and, and real about my struggles and it was just, it was a very good experience. I'm glad I did actually post it because I've done that before a few times and then deleted it within like 10 seconds or went to post it and been like, you know what? No, I'll just suffer in silence. <laughs> felt good to talk about, but it was just, it was a hard day. This is not embarrassing, but just unfortunate. Um, I haven't been able to afford my medication. I don't have insurance anymore where I'm not in school. My workplace doesn't currently offer it. I'm on three different medications. <laughs> One of them is my ADHD medication, which is a stimulant. So it's not inexpensive. I'll just put it that way. And I don't make a whole lot of money. So I literally don't have room in my budget for my medication, which sucks. Anyways, I wasn't able to afford my medication and I honestly still can't. My dad ended up buying it for me. Kind of embarrassing, but what can you do? That's just where I'm at. And I know that I'm not the only one in this position, especially if you're not working a job that has a high salary and have mental illness that needs medication and therapy and all sorts of other resources that are not free. <laughs> It can be hard. My dad ended up buying them for me and he brought them to my work today. So I did finally get to take my ADHD medication and it made such a world of a difference, but I didn't get it until partway through the day. And the first half of the day was just kind of rough. I had therapy and it was good, but it kind of like reopened a couple wounds. Like I started talking about certain things that have been bothering me. It just kind of brought them to the surface and I didn't get to like fully talk through it, nor is it fully resolved. Cause that's just life sometimes. And I kind of like carried it with me throughout the day instead of just dropping it i kind of kept feeling it throughout the day and that's really not ideal especially when you're working like a, a service job which i do have to serve customers all day in between making wine and all that kind of stuff and it was actually quite a busy day so i was getting really overwhelmed repeatedly and just felt so exhausted and run down and just 
depressed, just so many things. And it was, it was rough. <laughs> so then I broke down on my break and I took a little bit of an extended break. I did eventually pull myself together. I then got my medication, which really helped. I treated myself to a Starbucks. It slowed down a lot because it was the later half of the day and things got a lot better. You can check out my Instagram if you want to keep more updated with me and these types of things. I post on my story quite a lot. I don't post a lot, <laughs> but I post on my story a lot. So check me out. I will put it on the screen here for you. Yeah. Anyways, it was a rough day, but it did get a bit better. And I think that I'm actually going to go to the gym. <gasps> Crazy, I know. I have been kind of waiting a little bit, doing a couple things around my apartment so that it won't be the peak busyness between like seven and eight. 30-ish, it's like quite busy at all the gyms, but later in the evening it dies down of course. So I've just been waiting for that because I really don't want to go when it's super crowded. I just don't, I just don't have it in me. <laughs> I think I'll probably cry again if there's like a machine that I want being used or something stupid like that. And I really don't want to cry in public, so. <laughs> Gonna wait another little tiny bit before I go, maybe make a little snack or something as it's good to fuel yourself before a workout. I don't love having like a super full stomach when I work out. I find that makes me feel nauseous. So I might just have like a little yogurt or something like that. Maybe do something cute with like my hair. I mean, it's very greasy and looks terrible right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it could use a bit of dry shampoo, but I don't have any dry shampoo. So might throw a little bit of baby powder in there because she's looking a little slick, a little too shiny. Not like the nice shine, the dare I say greasy greasy shine. I might fix myself up a little bit. I literally was crying, but I have not done anything since I got home. But I also just don't really give a fuck, to be honest. Like, I just don't have the energy to give a fuck. <laughs> it's been a day. It has been a day. It's been a month. Hi, Sophie. Christmas was a really hard time and I'm just not fully like recovered from it, I don't think. Kind of what I was talking about in therapy and yeah, just blah. I filmed a video actually on Christmas day of me opening up about my trauma. If you watched me for a while, I have mentioned before that I have PTSD and it stems from some ongoing trauma that I had in my life growing up, my adolescence, my childhood. Uh, <laughs> getting awkward. <laughs> I made a video opening up about it, talking about it, not going into full detail of every single thing that happened, but just kind of an overview. And I've been really going back and forth of whether or not I should edit it down and posting it. I wasn't even filming it necessarily to post it. Of course, I thought that if I want to post it for whatever reason I could, it was mainly just to, to talk about it because I really don't talk about it very often, even in therapy. My therapist kind of lets me like guide the way. And honestly, there is just so much going on in my everyday life that I, I just find like I need to talk about those kinds of things. And I mean, a lot of the issues that I face are stemmed in my trauma. So we do end up talking about it, but not directly it, more like coping, how to deal with everyday life and those kinds of things. So I don't really talk about it super often. And it was Christmas and my dad was gone away for Christmas. So I literally spent the whole day by myself. You know, I did have a couple of invitations from friends to join their Christmases, but I was honestly just going through it. So I wasn't feeling up for going out anyways, but yeah. I ended up spending the day alone and just thought that maybe I should talk about it and almost talk to myself and not just internally because when I talk like this, of course, it's a little different than how I talk to myself. I don't know, I find I'm more gracious with myself when I, I speak to other people. I try to practice self-love or at least self-acceptance. It's a, probably a better way of putting it. And I also kind of believe in the whole like fake it till you make it mindset even if you don't believe it but you say nice things about yourself you say them enough eventually you just kind of start more leaning towards that than you would a super negative thought it kind of brings you at least to like a middle ground I find that I'm more gracious with myself when I'm talking to other people about myself or like talking to you, which is really just me talking to myself. <laughs> I find I'm, I'm nicer to myself. So I don't know. It was really therapeutic, to be honest. I, I'm happy that I did it. Whether or not I do post it, I'm happy that I did it because it felt really good to just kind of release it. And especially where my dad is selling the house that I grew up in, the house where there was a lot of bad memories, but also a lot of really good memories. It felt like a bit of closure talking about it all in the place where it happened. I had the full house to myself because my dad was gone. I, I don't know, it was really therapeutic. This probably sounds super cheesy. If you're not super like emotional type thing, you're probably gonna be rolling your eyes so hard, but I've learned to kind of accept some of the cheesy stuff. Jeez, I'm going on a whole tangent here. <laughs> I was just planning on doing like a quick little clip before I get ready to go to the gym, but here we are. Here we are. I'm gonna go get ready. I think I know what I'm gonna wear. Just like a nice big baggy t-shirt that I thrifted recently and some yoga pants. Oh, maybe I'll wear my new balances. This is them. I think they're beautiful. I love them so very much. So maybe I could wear these. 
Okay, I'm gonna figure out some kind of cute fit because I think I will feel better if I don't look like an absolute toe. And I might try to do something cute-ish with my hair to distract from the grease. Okay, see you at the gym. I am so happy that I went. It was incredibly busy, like packed, so packed. So I didn't get like too, too much footage. Don't hate me, okay? I was having a lot of anxiety, but it was a really good workout. Like I'm, I'm very happy that I went. I did stop into shoppers before I went to the gym to pick up a couple like toiletry makeup type items that I need. And then I stopped into Sobeys after the gym to pick up some grocery items that again, I need, <laughs> want, need, kind of synonymous here on this channel. All right, starting with the perishable items, I suppose. I got two of these Healthy Choice steamers. I really enjoy these and these are two new flavors. I've never seen these before, so I was actually very excited <laughs> when I was in the frozen food section, funny enough. This one is chicken fajita and then this one is cheesy ravioli and chicken marinara. They both look delicious. I bet they're gonna be great. Right. I also got some little mini frozen pizzas. They were on sale. Always good to have quick, yummy, easy foods available that you can just kind of throw on, especially that are highly palatable. Sometimes I really just want some pizza, you know? Sometimes I'm not in the mood for a healthy choice steamer, so. Mini pizzas. Two of these two good yogurts. These have two grams of sugar and then like eight grams of protein. So they're a lower sugar, kind of artificially sweetened yogurt. Greek yogurt, I believe. This is a vanilla one. This is a strawberry one. I did try the strawberry one a little while ago. I think the last time I did a haul, it was in it. It's really good. They are very, very nice. Definitely would recommend these. This was very random, but some bubblegum Yoplait yogurt tubes. I'm gonna put these in the freezer. I love a frozen yogurt tube. And it's a bubblegum flavor and I don't know, something about it enticed me, so. I have no idea. Coffee creamer, coffee K-cups. I don't typically like Folgers, but the vanilla biscotti Folgers, very good. And lastly at Sobeys, <laughs> the grape and fruit roll up combo snack, so good. I am still feeding it all the time. It has not gotten old to me. I get that dopamine when I eat it. So I picked up some more. Also really good frozen. I'm thinking about taking half of the fruit roll ups and freezing them with the grapes, of course. And then the rest I'll just probably eat tonight. In case you're confused and haven't seen a previous vlog of mine, a great snack from my childhood that was kind of forbidden to me because I was never allowed to eat stuff like this was a grape wrapped in a fruit roll up. Has to be a green or black grape that is fresh. Has to be a long fruit roll up, a fruit by the foot. Not not one of the sheep for roll ups. Delicious. Oh, I also got Diet Pepsi, a case of it. And that's what you're seated on currently. <laughs> okay, from Shoppers, this is a much more exciting haul if you ask me. I got a few little items. First, I got this e.l.f. concealer. I have the camo concealer and it is really good, but I have dry skin, especially around this time of year. My skin is like <laughs> desperate. Hello. My skin is like desperate for hydration. So I didn't want to go with that one and I do still have some, I'm pretty sure. But this is a hydrating camel concealer. I'm gonna give this a shot. I also got a squeeze me lip balm in the color strawberry, their elf product. Never tried it before, but it enticed me. So here we are. This is like a shopper's brand. I live in Canada in case you're confused what shoppers is. Are shoppers in the States? I tried a quick Google search to get to the bottom of this pressing issue, but struggled to find a clear answer. Apparently some shoppers exist in the US, but it's a Canadian franchise. I changed the wording multiple times, but couldn't find a clear answer. It was frustrating. I have no idea. Neither does Google. It's a drugstore. A drugstore brand. Quo. Blending sponge. Mine is foul. Absolutely foul. Has cracks in it. I dropped it today, and it like rolled into like some dust. To be candid with you. Looking at it, I realized what an absolute disaster state it was in and that I needed a new one. So here we are. I've never tried this kind before. The one that I have is like a real techniques one, but we're gonna give it a try. I got this, another e.l.f. product. I guess like sponsor me e.l.f., I don't know. Fully hydration face cream. This has hyaluronic acid and peptides. 
So I know hyaluronic acid is great. I was hoping to get something with hyaluronic acid in it because it's especially great for dry skin. It can hold up to like a thousand times its mass in water or something crazy like that. So we're gonna give this a try. I just wanna open it up and see it. Ooh, that's super cute. Love that. Okay, a couple more items. I got these little earrings. I always put these in my conch, conch, no idea how you pronounce that. But this, this piercing that goes through like the main part of my ear, I always put these in it because they unclip and like clip together. Do you see that? They're really great for that piercing. And then lastly, I got a metal washer. I really wanted to get a gua sha. I know I'm very late to that trend. That's very like three years ago, essentially, but I don't have one. And I thought that like the ridges on it would be really great. All right, that's everything that I got. I have mostly everything put away. I'm not gonna try any of these products right now because it's 11.57 PM. It's almost the next day, but I thought that maybe tomorrow morning I can get up early enough to vlog a little bit before my shift. I have work at 9 a.m., but maybe I can get up just a little tiny bit earlier so that I can use some of this when I'm getting ready and like kind of test it out with you. I'm gonna plan for that. Uh, there is potential that I will sleep through my alarms and or just wake up too late to actually do it. So if that is the case, then I will see you at some point, but hopefully I will see you in the morning. I gotta go to, to fucking bed, man. I gotta go to, I gotta go to bed. I gotta eat something, get some protein in me, and then I gotta go to bed. So, see you in the morning. Ho hopefully. I think I will. See you in the morning. I didn't get to sleep till like 3 a.m. ish. So I'm very tired at the moment, but good morning. I forgot to get dry shampoo when I was at Shoppers, I realized. So some more baby powder in my hair it is. I did get a body shower last night, but I did not wash my hair as... I'm going for a run after work today, actually. I work until five and then at 5.30, I'm going to the field house, like an indoor running track to do a run with my friend. So that'll be fun. But yeah, I didn't want to wash my hair and then go for a run because that's like when I sweat the absolute most. So my hair today is still looking pretty not ideal. Let's try some of these new products. I'm also really excited. I'm going to start with the Elf Skin Holy Hydration. Moisturizes, brightens, even that skin tone for plump, bouncy complexion. Let's just go for it. Here's what she's looking like. Does look quite thick. Interesting. Let's get some more light going in here. Oh my God, I'm so sleepy. I'm gonna put just a little tiny bit more on for good measure. I really enjoy the feeling of that. It doesn't feel like greasy per se, but you can tell that it does have thick hydrating properties. I enjoy that. Now, gua sha is typically not something that I do, as mentioned, but I'm just eager to try this thing. I feel like it might feel kind of cool to the touch right now. And that could be nice on my skin at this hour of the morning. God, it's so heavy. Ooh. Oh, that feels nice, actually. It's really cool. is isn't like temperature-wise. I wonder how like late on my eyeball. Oh, that feels so nice. I know this is not a typical use, but Ooh, it feels lovely. The answer feels nice, and I just like having tools like this. I do have one of those little jade rollers as well, for when you want to have a little extra spa type moment. It just feels nice, like you're doing an extra little something something. Cool. I feel like if you put this in the fridge or the freezer as well, it'd be really nice for the mornings. All right, I am gonna put on some CeraVe before I put on my concealer as I cannot go without my CeraVe. Next up, Hydrating Camo Concealer. I got the shade Fair Rose, which has more of like a pinky hue because I do have very pink undertones in my skin. I'm not gonna put too much of this on because the other version of this that I used was like white heavy coverage. It's supposed to be like a dupe for shape tape, I believe. So I'm gonna start light, and if I wanna build it, then I can do that. I'm also gonna use my new little beauty blender. Please don't judge me. It's supposed to be bright pink. I know, okay. I know. 
Okay, it doesn't look like it's drying me out too much or anything. Really enjoying that. It is quite light, but I do use it almost to like contour a little bit, so that is okay. The formula is very nice though. It's not like watery or thin whatsoever. It still is really thick, but it doesn't seem to be drying me out at all. And it does have decent coverage. Blends very nicely. Lovely. All right, I'm just gonna set that. Just my normal setting powder. Okay, I'm really enjoying that. I am gonna do the rest of my makeup off camera. I'm pretty sure I already did like a get ready with me during this vlog. But you don't need to see me do my makeup twice. But I will finish up my makeup and then as a finishing touch, I'll put on this little lip balm and we'll see what she's looking like. And me tonight. Well, hello there. Um, it's actually after my shift. I ended up being a bit too rushed to do the whole little lip gloss test, but got off work a little tiny bit early. So it's like 4 p.m. ish at the moment. I decided to head into the mall to look for a couple things for a future video that I'm filming. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> Figured out where I have another hour to kill, run an errand, get that done, and uh, then I'll be going for the run. I figured before I go into the mall, my lips are very chapped. We could try this guy, the Squeeze Me Lip Balm. Ooh. Oh my god, that smells amazing. Okay, let's see. Okay. Ooh, it's kind of like milky. Mmm, it's not sticky at all. Oh, I like this. It gives just like a very subtle little hue. Love the smell. Cute. Very fun. I like this a lot. I really like the texture, like the consistency. It doesn't feel sticky like at all, but it still feels like viscous enough. It's not just like an oil, you know what I mean? Very nice. I'm probably gonna end up buying a couple more of these. Definitely recommend. Okay, into the mall. It is treacherous out. I had no idea we we're getting bad weather today, but it has been like downpouring. That's why I got off early because it was so slow at work. There was like four of us basically sitting around twiddling our thumbs and I was gonna lose it. And I know I had other things to do. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna sacrifice an hour and go get some shit done. Okay, my phone's probably gonna die. Into winners, I go.